Things have changed quickly and drastically with this new infection, COVID-19. Starting from China, this is now a pandemic, with rising numbers and more countries being affected. It might be difficult to stop further spread, but we can slow it down. Your role is extremely important. Let's talk about things everyone needs to know right now. What is COVID-19 disease and how bad is it? Coronaviruses of humans usually cause mild infections like common cold. This virus is new to humans. It is very contagious and can cause severe disease in some people. It enters the body through nose and mouth and goes into the lungs. Inside the body, the virus starts multiplying. During this time, a person may spread infection to others even though they don't have any symptoms right now. It can take from one to two weeks to develop any symptoms. Common symptoms are fever, cough, and shortness of breath. Other symptoms can appear as well. The virus spreads to others through secretions and droplets when coughing or sneezing. The droplets can go as far as three to six feet. Once outside the human body, the virus can survive for up to 24 hours on hard surfaces. Anyone exposed to these droplets or touches the surface with live virus can get infected when they touch their eyes, nose, or face. COVID-19 is highly contagious, with one person usually infecting three others. This is why it is spreading so fast. The severity of disease is different in people. Most will recover after a mild illness. In some cases, infection can be severe and lead to hospital admissions or death. For people younger than 60 years age, less than 1% died, but the rate is higher in older people. People with health conditions like heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, COPD or cancer are at risk of getting severe illness. How do we protect ourselves and stop this outbreak? Here are some practical steps to protect ourselves and stop this spread. Number one, avoid touching eyes, nose and mouth with unwashed hands. This is how the infection enters our body. Number two, wash hands frequently, especially after coughing or sneezing, when around anyone sick, after touching surfaces of public use, after any gathering, coming home from outside, and before eating. Use soap and water to wash hands and rub them for at least 20 seconds. Good hand washing is enough to get virus off your hands. If soap and water is not available, then use hand sanitizers with at least 60% alcohol content. Number three, avoid close contact with sick persons. If you have to be near a sick person, then use a mask and wash hands afterwards. Number four, when coughing or sneezing, cover your mouth with elbow or use a napkin and then discard it in a bin. Number five, frequently clean the surfaces and objects that are touched by people. Number six, in cities where virus is reported, it is extremely important to avoid gatherings. In many places, schools have been closed and public events are cancelled. You have to maintain a safe distance of 3 feet from others. Cancel all your gatherings and stay home as much as possible. Number 7. Avoid traveling so you don't take the virus with you to new communities and also don't get infected by the virus in that community. Additionally, during the transit, you may get exposed to infection from others. If you just traveled from another country, Avoid mixing with people for at least two weeks to see if you develop any symptoms. Number eight, these are difficult times for many people and families, especially who are sick or may not have enough food or money. Be generous and help. We all are in this together as one human body. Do not miss this opportunity to care for others. What do I do if I have symptoms? Now, if you develop symptoms of fever, cough, or shortness of breath, Stay home and avoid mixing with people or going to work or school. This way, if you have COVID-19 infection, you won't spread it to others. Monitor your symptoms closely. Most people will recover in one to two weeks. Keep yourself well hydrated and use hot drinks. You can take Tylenol or Panadol every six hours for fevers and aches. Keep in mind, antibiotics are not effective for viral infections. Try to stay in a separate room from others in the house and do not share your utensils or towels with others. If symptoms get worse, get yourself checked. Try to inform the clinic or the hospital before you arrive so they can make appropriate arrangements of protecting others. 
I hope you learned from this video. This is an important message so spread it to others as well. Stay healthy and help others stay healthy.